Rework and reorder what you're currently doing. This training is very practical. I'm not going to teach you how to completely replace your current routine. Instead, you're just going to work with what you already have. This is the first step. Ask yourself this question, was it truly important? Let that question sink in. It should be fairly clear to you what things you do on a day-to-day -day basis that are important. If you need more clarity, ask yourself, does this move my career forward? Does this help my business in a profound way? Do these things push me closer to my life goals? You may be thinking to yourself that as long as you can tie any of your routine to your life goals, that you should continue doing them. Not so fast. You also need to test your life goals. Are you assuming that certain goals are your life goals? Are these objectives really all that important to you? Are these what you really want out of life? A lot of people actually haven't bothered to ask themselves these questions. They tend to go on autopilot, and if they do manage to achieve those grand objectives, it turns out those aren't what they're looking for. Test your life goals. Don't be afraid. Ask yourself if you truly want these. Maybe you need to refocus. Maybe you need to redefine. Set your goals down right. Now that you have a clear understanding of what you think you want out of your life, write it down. I can't insist on this enough. When you just think about your life goals, it's not unusual for you to keep redefining them. In fact, it's not unusual for you to think about them when you're emotional. However, once that emotional moment passes, you forget about them. They're not clearly defined. They're just free-floating and you only remember them for their emotional effect. You don't have life goals, if that's the case. Write them down. You will clearly see if there are holes in your understanding of what you want for your life. Ask yourself the question why over and over again when looking through your goals. Don't be afraid to restate them or change them. Ultimately, when you ask yourself certain why statements, why should I do this? Why should I invest time into this? Why should I sacrifice for this? Why should I dedicate my life to this? On and on. These big goals start to become more and more clear. Once you're happy with the specific statements of your big goals, the next step is to break them down. That's right, break them down into smaller sub-goals. Let me tell you, there's no such thing as an impossible goal. Seriously, if you break them down into small enough parts and if you have a realistic timeline, there is no such thing as an impossible goal. You can make goals even more probable by simply breaking them down into sub-goals. You can then turn sub-goals into smaller daily to-do tasks. These are the things that you do every day that lead you to achieving sub-goals, which in turn lead to bigger goals, which ultimately help you achieve your life goals. Keep filtering your list until you're crystal clear. Don't write your goals one time and call it a day. It doesn't work that way. Write and rewrite your goals and sub-goals until you're sure. This is a process of discovery. Don't think that you are stuck with these goals in their present form. Just keep writing them and rewriting them until they become clear. Once the details are clear, then you will know whether you are sure or not. However, once you reach that state of certainty, allow yourself to feel recharged. Allow yourself to get a nice boost of inspiration triggered by your sense of purpose. To further help clarify things, break down your daily to-do tasks. I know that these are already broken down from sub-goals, but break them down into small, minuscule tasks. Try to reduce them to their bare essentials where you basically are left with just one simple action. Filter your daily to-do list the right way. At this point, a lot of people drop the ball. They really do. They think that as long as they have a daily to-do task list, they have a clear action roadmap for the future. Absolutely wrong. You see, when you look at your daily to-do task list, not all of them deserve to be on your list. There are two factors that you need to be aware of when looking at your daily to-do list and filtering it. First, there are tasks that are important. Second, there are tasks that are urgent. This means that they can't wait. When filtering through your task list, use these two factors so you can make the right decision. First are absolutely essential actions you need to take. These are things that cannot wait and are vitally important. You need to do these things right now. You cannot hesitate. Put them at the top of your list. Reserve all your personal willpower and focus to knocking out these tasks. Second are important tasks. These are important, but they can wait. Time is not of the essence as far as these are concerned. These should be second on your agenda. You should free up time to do these because their importance enables you to reach your big goals sooner rather than later. Maybe they build up certain skills. Perhaps they improve your attitude. Possibly, they open you up for greater success. 
These are the things that you should do to take things to the next level. Next are ministerial tasks. These are not all that important, but they cannot wait. They have to be done on a daily basis. This can involve answering emails, shuffling paperwork, or other small tasks. Finally, there are optional to-do list items. These are not important and they can wait. They're not high priority items by any stretch of the imagination. So what do you do with these tasks? Well, you need to look at your to-do list and come up with a focused to-do list. In other words, all the items there are absolutely essential. For everything else like the ministerial tasks, delegate or outsource them. If you have to do them yourself, tightly budget your time and just knock out those ministerial task items. Do not waste an extra minute on them. They're that unimportant. As for everything else, you can postpone or simply forget about them. This is especially true of optional to-do list items. They're not all that important and they're not a priority, so why waste precious focus and willpower on these to-do list items? For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.